Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 31st day of May 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Jam Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. Looks like gold is down 623 to 1858.49, silver down 30 cents to 2193, platinum up $3.50 to 978 even, and palladium up $20.12 12 cents to 2112. 50. There's a Rush album in there somewhere. Now, look at this. In stock silver, you're looking at 1134. It looks like there was about a draw of about 15 or 16 um, from yesterday because they were nearing 1150, I believe. Now, our next stop today is going to be the United States Mint. And guess what tomorrow is? That's right. Tomorrow, the American Eagle Coin Program drops the American Eagle 2022 one ounce silver uncirculated coin out of West Point, New York. And that's product 22 Echo Gamma EG. And um, let's talk a little bit about the American Silver Eagles first and get a little bit of a history and tell you what's going on with these. Because they are a very important coin and um, probably the most collectible coin outside of the Morgan dollars. And, well, I know that's my opinion or whatever, but these are super highly collectible all across the world. Now, I'm going to break you off some information here with this American Silver Eagle. The American Silver Eagle is the official silver bullion coin of the United States, right? And it was first released by the United States Mint on November 24, 1986. It is struck only in the one troy ounce, right? So if you find anything that's not like that, it's not from the United States Mint, which has a nominal face value of $1 and is guaranteed to contain one troy ounce of three nines pure silver, okay? That's beautiful. Now, let's go over some of the details about what is going on here. Now... I'm going to go over some minting history, what is bullion, and what the uncirculated is, right? A little bit of history. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about this particular paragraph. And um, I think it explains, or at least it helps explain what's going on this year, all right, about what's happening at the mint, and well, maybe even last year. So here it says here, Program Extension 2002. The authorizing legislation for the American Silver Eagle Bullion Program stipulated that the silver used to mint the coins be acquired from the Defense National Stockpile with the intent to deplete the stockpile's silver holdings slowly over several years. Why would they want to deplete the Defense National Stockpile? Do we not need it in defense of something? I don't know. It just, just seems odd, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. By 2002, it had became apparent that the stockpile would be depleted and that further legislation would be required for the program to continue. What? So they know it's going bye-bye. All right. All right. So, okay. They know it's going bye-bye. On June 6, 2002, Senator Harry Reid out of Nevada introduced Bill S-2594, Support of American Eagle Silver Bullion Program Act, to authorize the Secretary of the Treasury to purchase silver on the open market when the silver stockpile is depleted. The bill was passed by the Senate June 21 and by the House on June 27, signed into law by President Bush on July 23, 2002. Well, why didn't they ever just go back and restock the Defense National Stockpile? That's really interesting. And why would they want to deplete it? And once it was depleted, why did they say, you know, let's go to the open market and get silver once our stockpile is depleted? And now, what have we heard this year and last year, right? We heard that the Mint is having a problem paying for silver on the open market because they are authorized, I think, by this particular legislation that they can't pay more than spot price. And we all know about premiums right now, right? Premiums are off the wall. They are just ridiculous right now. And because of this, I mean, the Mint is having problems, right? Challenges obtaining that silver at a reasonable price. There it is. And I think that's the end of that story. Now, here we go. Minting history. The first American Silver Eagle coins were struck in San Francisco on October 29, 1986. Secretary of the Treasury James A. Baker III presided over the striking ceremony held at the San Francisco Assay Office, according to a Chicago Sometimes article. I used to love that guy with the Roger and Ebert. Uh, article as Baker Squirrel, as Baker reached for the electronic button on press number 105, he turned to the audience and said, I don't need a pick and a shovel to start the San Francisco Silver Rush of 1986. Oh, that's so clever, isn't it? Now, a little bit of um, clarification. What is bullion, right? What is bullion? Bullion does not have a mint mark, right? So tomorrow's issue will have a W mint mark, and I'll show you here that in a second. Um, other proofs uh, from San Francisco have the S, and then the proof from West Point has that um, W on it. And don't be fooled because the mint mark is on the reverse, not 
on the obverse, which is the front of the coin, right? So some people think that that AW is the W mint mark when it's not. So you got to be careful with that. And I think some people take advantage of us and our lack of knowledge as to what is bullion and 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 bullion cannot be purchased from the United States mint unless you're unless you're an authorized dealer, right? Now, um, and that's about all I want to get into that. So it says here, bullion, silver eagles, coins do not have mint marks from 86 to 98. They were produced at the San Francisco mint. And from 99 to 2000, they were produced at the Philadelphia and West Point mints. Now, in March 2011, the San Francisco mint conducted trial strikes of bullion silver eagles in preparation for the resumption of full production later in the spring, then added production... Um, uh, the added production capacity provided by the San Francisco Mint supplements the output of the West Point Mint. Okay, so, and that's only really in times that are challenging, like we did see some emergency strikes from the San Francisco Mint last year. We also saw some emergency strikes from the Philadelphia Mint, but for the most part, bullion is only minted at the West Point Mint unless additional supplements are needed, right? Now, it says here, proof from 86 to 92, proof silver eagle coins were minted at San Francisco, and these coins bear the S mint mark. From 93 to 2000, they were minted at Philadelphia, and these coins bear the P mint mark. Now, from 2001 to 2008, they were minted at West Point, New York, and these coins bear the W mint mark. No proof versions were minted in 2009, beginning again and in 2010, the proof coins were minted at West Point, New York, and bear the W mint mark, right? Now, this is what's happening today. This is the uncirculated for t tomorrow, rather. Uncirculated from 2006 to 2008, and beginning again in 2011, the United States Mint issued a collectible uncirculated Silver Eagle coin produced at the West Point Mint, bearing the W Mint mark. The coins are struck specifically on burnished blanks and sometimes are referred to as W Uncirculated or Burnished Uncirculated. Now, that's a really big deal, and they can use both terms, and they're interchangeable, and that's okay. You just need to learn both of them. Aside from the standard issue burnished eagles, there had been one burnished eagle issue produced at San Francisco bringing the estimate mark for release in the American Eagle 25th anniversary silver coin set in 2011. There you go. That's incredible. Now let's go over here back to the United States Mint. And this is the coin that is dropping tomorrow. This is American Eagle 2022 West Point minted. It is going to be $67. It drops tomorrow at noon. And will there be some available? Probably. Maybe not a whole lot. So if you are interested in this, picking one of these up and you're not on enrollments, you're going to need to be there before noon, June 1st, tomorrow. And we will be doing a mint drop from the uh, Numasaki Nation, I believe. So you can check that out tomorrow. Now, look, there's no mintage limit. However, there's a product limit of 160,000 with a household order limit of three. Now, I, like I said, I do expect that this will probably have a couple thousand available. Now, you're going to want to be logged in and ready to go. Make sure your credit card or your payment card is in hand and all that good stuff. Now, what's important here, I want to show you. There it is under the wing and just above the tail, right, is that W mint mark. Now, if you think that this is the mint mark right here under God We Trust, that's an AW, Adolf Weinemann. That's the guy that designed this particular obverse, right? There it is. And the reverse is designed by Emily Domstra. And I forget the other artist here. I'm sure it's down here at the bottom. I uh, probably just uh, went too far on that one. Uh, you know, it'd be great if they had the um, specifications, the mints artists in the specifications. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Now, going to move on to the next thing. And I, now, really, um, I think this coin is important to have in your collection, no doubt about it. But would I load up and I back up the truck on this? Absolutely not. I would not back up the truck on this. Um, now, it does say the product limit is 160000 I think that puts it in about third place of all the American Silver Eagle uncirculated coins from West Point, New York, which is kind of, eh, you know, that's all right. But really, I think there's some American Silver Eagles that are probably um, could have our attention, and I'd like to show you those now. So here we go over to Gainesville Coins. And like I said in previous videos, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the sites that I do visit. Now, this is by Stephen Cochran, and it's a uh, new Silver Eagle design launches in 2021, right? This is from October 23rd, 2020. However, it was updated August 30th, 2021. So let's get down to the meat and potatoes. And um, like I said, I, I think these are the ones you'll really, I think these are the ones that we should be focusing on. Now, it says here, a new key date for American Silver Eagle. 2021 American Silver Eagle will be a key date in the series. That's right, 2021 American Silver Eagle is a key date, right? Type 1 and Type 2. 
There are two 2020 Silver Eagles that will also be key, key dates, being the last full year of the old design. Collectors will certainly want to obtain examples of Silver Eagles with both reverses. Now, we all know that the um, 2021 American Silver Eagles, they are key date in the series, absolutely, because of the Type 1 and the Type 2 varieties. However, right, the reverse of 86 and the reverse of 21. However, like it says here, um, collectors are going to certainly want to pick up these examples of these Silver Eagles with both reverses. And if I scroll down here, it says here there's a quick checklist so you know which 2020 coins you need to buy before they sell out. And what's interesting, at the United States Mint, they are definitely sold out. However, um, they are not that expensive on eBay, and I'll show you that here in a second. First one being... Now, this is the silver uncirculated coin. That one's the one coming out tomorrow. This is 2022. However, if you look at this one, 2020 was the last full year of the reverse of 86. And then 2021 was the first year, right, of the reverse of 2021. All right. That's the uncirculated. So I think both those are super important. Um, however, this one I think is a little bit more expensive than this one because I don't think people are really focused on 2020 as being the last of the 86. So here we go, the 2021 S Silver Eagle Proof Coin 2020 will be the last of the old reverse. That's a reverse of 86. And I'm just going to wrap this up real quick and show you what the prices are for these particular coins, right? The 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 um the uncirculated coin from 2022 and the uncirculated coin from well, it's here's here's 2022's uncirculated coin and it's got ended recently sales and we know this one is going to be sixty seven dollars and it's already selling for about eighty nine ninety dollars. Right, that's about twenty dollars and maybe a little bit twenty two dollars twenty three dollars over what they purchased it for, right? But they got percentages that they need that they need to pay eBay, right? So eighty nine, eighty four. Look at that seventy seven, eighty four, eighty three. They took the best offer seventy four and change. Um, yeah, so there you go. Just, you know, it's hovering around the $80 mark, right? And that's reasonable, I guess. Um, and it's not too much more than the issue price. But let's go on to the last of 86 for the 2020 West Point American Silver Eagle Uncirculated Coin. Look at that. That's the 2018 doesn't count. Look at this, 2020, $59.35. Come on. It's ridiculous. People just don't have... I don't think these are marketed properly. Uh, and, and if they are, there's only a couple of them that are marketed properly. Um, I don't even think that's even um, has a mint mark on it. I think that's bullion that somebody, just, anyway, uh, $55 there for an American Eagle. To one, yeah, see, look at that, $55. I'm telling you, these have no love, even though they probably could be easily considered a key date considering it's a last reverse of 86, right? A last of 86. And I don't see any of these with that, with that uh, marketing on that, right? The last of 86 on there at all. 79, I mean, look at this. That's not even, that's just, that's just bullion, right? Uh, that's bullion also. Bullion. So really, look at the 81, there you go, uncirculated, and it got the COA, 81, yeah. The other ones were 85, there's 75. But we know we can get them for a lot less, right? Isn't that incredible? Now let's look at the next one here. We're looking at the 2020 Silver Eagle Proof out of San Francisco, California. And look at this one. It is graded a proof $6,900, proof $70, $150. So you can see that the proof has a little bit more love than the uncirculated, right? Look at this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Last estimate eagle, fe eagle featuring the original design. So somebody definitely knows what they have here. And these other folks, do they even have that? No, they don't. And you can still get these for fairly reasonable prices, being that it is the last S, Mint Eagle, featuring the original design. Folks, I tell you what, sometimes in coin collecting, we have to look back, right, to see what's what. And not only do we have to see what's what, we have to see what prices those what's what's are selling for. And what I'm seeing here is that the 2020, and it says right here on Gainesville Coins, right, there's two in particular that are getting no love. That's the 2020 Uncirculated from West Point, and that's the 2020 S, proof from san francisco isn't that incredible so good luck to you i hope you're able to uh, swing a deal or two um if you like that that's awesome uh, and you know hey you don't have to get them but i'm just pointing out like hey isn't it interesting that these get no love now speaking of no love i got no seconds no time left it's only got 15 seconds now this is the damned alone again or music video 
Now, this other one, if you think you are too small to make a difference in the world, you haven't spent the night with a mosquito. That's an African proverb. Anyway, listen, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget that bell like button. And if you do like what you're going to see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker. Out.